Hello and welcome to tutorial number three in the CB query field tutorials. The first two tutorials were basically focused on using CB query field plugin to actually do some extra validation on existing fields. <clears throat> From here on the series will focus primarily on uh, other uh, applications of this plugin. So first of all I want a disclaimer this is not a tutorial about uh, SQL uh, queries. You should really learn this on your own. Uh, looking, the internet is full of uh, resources. Uh, so please do not post any questions on the forums or in the comments area on specific query examples. I mean, you can surely post on the forums and ask if somebody could help, but this is not really. Uh, a regular support question. You should really learn SQL on your own. Buy a book, look at some uh, resources online, experiment with PHP My Admin, and just start learning. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is create, a, we actually have created two query fields, and let's just go through and show you what exactly this does. So the first query field a CB query field one and we're basically naming this the title is published articles count <clears throat> so what we're going to do is basically use a query field to actually display the number of articles uh, a user has created in the Joomla database and we'll be using query field to calculate this number so uh, looking at the settings here on the right it's type query I mean if you click on the type section you see uh, there are a number of query types query plane then there's query checkbox drop down drop down single select multi select radio we'll be going through these in uh, further in new in new tutorials but right now we're going to focus on this the query type okay so it's query type I've actually put this in a tab of its own called query fields and I've unpublished it to not show uh, during registration. It doesn't make sense to show during registration because the user does not exist yet, so it doesn't have any articles. And I have a nice comment here saying the CB query field returns the number of published state equals one uh, Joomla articles, basically entries in the Joomla content table. Okay, and we'll go to the parameters area where we see there's an extra query tab here. That's what the query field uh, type has created. And what we're doing here is we're going to put the query. What's, let's just read it. I'm going to be copying this uh, in the comments of this video, so you don't have to strain your eyes to read this, but you'll be able to copy paste from there. What I'm saying basically is select the count of all records from the content uh, table of our Joomla database, okay, where the created by column is equal to the user ID and the state equals one. So basically I'm looking for state equals one published articles of the specific user. That's why I'm, do, I'm saying created by and I have the substitution here, bracket, user, underscore, ID, close bracket. Now, you should be very careful when you're constructing this and notice that, for example, this tick sign here on the left of the hash sign is not the same as the one here on the left of the bracket for the user ID. There are different symbols here. You'll be able to view this when you're looking at the comments Okay, but it, it's kind of important to make sure that those symbols are correct. And one other thing I want to mention here is that this hash double underscore in front of the table uh, name, basically what it does, it'll substitute the prefix of your Joomla table. So if I look at, if I inspect my Joomla database, for example, using PHP My Admin, I'll see that this is the content table and see there's a prefix. This is a Joomla prefix here that's put in front. So uh, you don't need to remember that if you're actually using this internal mode here. Internal mode means 
that the database is your internal Joomla database. So I'm going to be looking for the table content in my internal Joomla database. So there's no need to remember the prefix because this hash double underscore will actually pick it up from the Joomla uh, configuration settings. And of course, there's another mode here. We could, we could have external mode, which means that we're going to have to populate external databases. It's not the internal one. So we'll have to put a host name here. Typically, that's usually localhost, or it could be uh, some URL. The username of the, of the uh, database user, the password of the database user, the database name, character set could be UTF-8, for example, and the table prefix, if it exists. If it doesn't exist, uh, we'll just... Um, hard coded here. We won't, we won't put pound sign double underscore. We'll just put the uh, the full database table name. No reason to be prefixed or anything. Okay, but I'm working on internal database now, so I set that back. <clears throat> so if things are correct here, what we're going to do is we're going to count everything that's returned from this query, and it's just going to return a number. Uh, so the query basically, again, is we're selecting the count from the, everything in the content table where the created by column is the user ID of the current user we'll be displaying this field on in the profile of this current user. And state equals one, which means that it's a published uh, article. And again, remind you, remind you here that the tick sign left and right of the state parameter is not the same as the tick sign left and right of the one here. Okay, so you'll notice that. And finally, there's a display uh, tab here. Again, this is also part of the query field. And we're just going to leave this right now to uh, the default setting, which is single row and single column. We'll be looking at further settings for different uh, tutorials in the future. Okay. So this is one of the fields I've created here. And let's go and look at the query field two, which is more or less the same in terms of uh, setup. Everything is similar. I mean, the, of course, the title is a little different. I'm attempting to count unpublished articles here. OK, so what's going to happen here is if you look at the query, it's going to be slightly different. And instead of everything's the same, but instead of state equals one, it's state equals zero. So it's picking up all the articles of this user that are not published. Okay, let's go to the front end now and I'm looking at the super admin user, for example, if I go to the profile of the super admin user uh, and find the query tab I created. It's not here, it's here we go. Query fields tab here. And here are my two fields. It says published articles count is 17 and unpublished articles count is zero. I can go and verify this by going to the Joomla content article section. And I'm basically going to filter here for all the super admin articles because I'm looking at the super admin uh, user in the front end. And if I count these, you'll see that there's 17. And just to make a little uh, verification here. Let's just unpublish one by by toggling the publish button. I'm basically changing the state from a one to a zero. So if I go to the front end and refresh, I will see that my query fields have changed. They're not 17 and zero. It's now 16 and one. Okay, I'm stopping here. Thanks for watching. And please check the uh, comments of this video for the actual SQL uh, select statements that were used. Thanks again. Bye-bye.